Hey there, welcome to another video series called Shopify App Development with Remix. I did one of these video series a few years ago for PHP. Now is the time to upgrade and use Node.js and Remix. So in this video series, you are going to learn everything you need to know to build a fully functional Shopify app. So this series is going to be the most complete um, app development that you have ever seen on the internet and this is going to be completely free and you will learn everything you need to know to build a fully functional Shopify app. So in this video, I will go through um, the Shopify ecosystem and what are the most important thing you have to know and how uh, you will get the idea of building an app. There are some basic requirements like understanding JavaScript, HTML and CSS to get started with this video series, but I think that's common if you're going to build a SaaS. So you will learn a lot in this video series. So let me show you what we are going to build in this video series and what are the content of this course. So this is the app we are going to build. It is called Wishlist Inspire and it will let customers wishlist product and they can watch it later they can buy it later from the shop there are a lot of wishlist app on the Shopify market but this is one of them so we are going to learn how we can build it and throughout this series you will learn everything about database billing Shopify setting and how you will restore this data to the setting let me bring the content of the course and what you are going to learn then I will show you how the app will work so this is all the video I have created so far and the last one is before you publish the app, things you have to know, things you have to consider before you submit your app and rest of the content of the course. This is going to be the introduction and I will check market soon. So let's see what we have built here. This is the dashboard. It has a basic setting. This is where you will learn about how to interact with database, save all this in the database. Of course, your app might be different, but you get the idea, right? And it also has a pricing page where you can um, charge user so currently it has two plan one is free one is pro and i can cancel it it does not have any prompt to prompt the user but you probably will not make it easy like this right but if user want to upgrade you can just click on the upgrade and the whole billing system is handled with the shopify billing api you will learn it throughout this series and how easy it is to configure uh, let's approve the charges since this is a test charge and it's not going to charge me and this is as, uh, also a draft app it is not published in the Shopify store, I just did it for testing. Now you can see we are in the pro plan and all the advanced analytics are in the dashboard. If I go to the dashboard, I don't see anything. Apart from that, you will also learn how you can create app block extension. What are app block extension? You will learn in details, but in a short, uh, these are um, blocks that will interact with a theme. So if you are building an app, how do you, how your app is going to integrate with the team? Uh, that is where you will create app block extension. This is one of them that I have created and you can add it here in the cart. So you can see under the add to cart, we have added this add wishlist and this is the app block that we have. So it will select the product and you can change the color, but I will show you how exactly you will do this. And these are coming from the app block and you will learn in this video series. Now, if I come to the front end of the store, if I click uh, add wishlist and it should add this product to the wishlist and the heart should be filled. And if I go to the dashboard of my app, let's go back from the search, we will go to the app. This is my app. And you should see this product is added to the wishlist um, less than a minute ago. And you will also learn all about these things. I know the data is not beautiful, that you will also learn about GraphQL and how you can query data from the database. So that is your job to make the design of the dashboard look more beautiful in your app. But this is just the basic of learning how you uh, display the data in here, how you interact with the API and send data from the storefront and then store it in your database and query everything in the dashboard. So yeah, that is what we are going to build in this video series. The journey of building your app will not end here. That's why I will continue making more videos on how you can market your app, how you can improve it and how you can uh, add more feature to your app. There are a lot of hypes on Twitter where people build their first SaaS and they are going to make a lot of money with that. I thought, you know what? A lot of people make the SaaS or software as a service. Let me show people how you can build your own app because there is not a lot of courses around there to build uh, their own Shopify app. And if you're on Twitter, we can connect together and see some of the example of how people are making $50,000 a month with only one or two Shopify app. I think that's very inspiring to get in this market 
and be part of that. I hope this video series help a lot of more people to get in the market of building more Shopify apps and grow together. All the videos for this series is recorded and I'm going to schedule them to upload two videos per day starting from 10th of February. So I hope I can edit this video as soon as I can and then I will schedule all the videos and it will be soon on the channel. Apart from that, after this video series will end, I will make different like single type of video to improve the app and learn more on the marketing side of the app. So you can subscribe to the channel to be updated for more content about Shopify app development. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.